Miracles of Today by William J. Kassir. Miracles of Today, Chapter 18, Episode of the Healing Sun. Have you been chastened by man and circumstances? Have you lived through trials and tribulations? Have ye thought at each turn, this is too much, this is the end, and yet survived? Then on your knees, man, and thank God, for whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth. Brother Bill I have made the earth and created man upon it. I, even my hands, have stretched out the heavens, and all their host have I commanded. Isaiah forty-five twelve. In a city where we had several marvelous classes, the students were making wonderful progress in the use of the law. One of these students, however, had the misfortune to become ill enough to need the services of a surgeon. A decision was reached between the patient and the doctor in regard to the treatment necessary, and if what seemed to be a growth did not give way, the only alternative would be an operation. The time limit was set when I was asked to do whatever it was in my power to do. I myself can do nothing. I am the healer. God is the light. 1 John 1, five. While ye have light, believe in the light, that ye may be the children of light. John 12.36 The Son of God is the spiritual Son. It is a great healing power. If the student will use it, visualize it, they will not need any other assistance. So I asked my secretaries and the students who were present to visualize a rising sun at the patient's heart. Then, I said, when you are seeing it in full glory, like the sun at noonday, rising, expanding until it is full size, that is, larger than and enveloping the patient, shining in all its grandeur, then visualize Jesus or any other ascended being appearing in its heart. He grows and expands his light as the sun did until his light and the spiritual sun are one. He continues to expand until the sun is his heart, and the patient is bathed in the effulgence, and the physical body is irradiant. Then, whatever growths or troubles, aches or pains that may be in the body are solved, dissolved, if you please, all is well. Some people close their eyes to visualize. I usually keep mine open. When I saw that we all had finished our meditations, I gave a sign and we tiptoed out of the patient's room. The next day, my secretaries informed me that the swelling, which had given no indication of abating or receding the night before, had broken that morning at daybreak. Then surgery was not required. A week later, the patient, who had spent several weeks in great agony, was at home and in peace. The next day, we were called to visit a child in the same city. The child had a so-called contagious disease. The crisis had not yet been reached. This disease, it was said, often left complications in its wake. Would we work for the child? It is my privilege and pleasure to work for God's children of light. We repeated the instructions for the babe as we did for the adult with the growth, visualizing the heart as a sun of light and expanding in light and radiance until the sun is like the noonday blaze. Then, imagining Jesus in the sun's center, sitting on a throne. He arises, and as he does so, he expands, grows in stature, saying, I am no longer the babe of Christ. I am now grown to full stature. So saying, he takes full command, and the babe and the son disappear in his glorious radiance. No need to tell the rest. The child lost all symptoms of the disease which threatened him, and in a few days was well and at home again with mommy and daddy. But unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings. Malachi 4, 2.